it's crunch time in SE16 for Gary Rower if he wants to keep his job. Some might say it's even a cup final. Hello, welcome to my channel. Please make to like, comment, subscribe, and share. As always, it's free. It takes a second. This is my pretty much prediction for our game tomorrow in SE16 against Gary Rowett's former club, Stoke City. This will be the first game that I'm attending in SE16 this season because I have just returned from a two-week holiday. So that I'm going there with fresh eyes. I will be going there to see if I can evaluate for myself what is going on. But listen, um, it's been toxic over the week. Um, videos, comments, fans started to lose it a little bit with the man in charge, Gary Rower. And some of it is, some of it is um, granted, some of it I don't get. But listen... Stoke City are the next to come to town. Stoke City, of course, managed by Alex Neal. They're doing very, very well in this division this season. Started very, very well. I think they find themselves eighth in the table, three points above us. So, you do the maths. Um, but look, we need to go for Stoke City's throats. They're going to be coming. They're going to be... They're going to smell blood in a way, Stoke City. Um... They know it's going to be a violent, well, not a violent, hostile place. Um, a little bit nerves thrown around. Um, but yeah, of course, we actually did make a signing today in the shape of um, Brooke Norton Cuffey, which I think will come back uh, back into the team, into the team for the first time to make his debut. I think we will still be playing a four at the back. Um, because I, I still think Brooke can play pretty, pretty comfortably in a four at the back, but I will show you the team that I will go with to hopefully dig Rao out the hole that he currently finds himself in, and he absolutely needs to do that, because if we go 1-0 down uh, tomorrow, if we go 1-0 down tomorrow, then pff, I wouldn't want to be him. Um, I really wouldn't, and it could be the beginning of the end for Gary Rao, but uh, this is not our club at the moment. They're not enjoying themselves. There's no rhythm. There's no overlapping runs. So let's just go. If we lose 4-3, we lose 4-3. Go for Stoke City's throats. And I can't keep banging me gums because I think it's obvious what we need to do. So I'm going to leave it here. All I'm going to say is give us, give, some, give us something to shout about. If we lose, we lose. Give us something to grab onto and build onto, build on top of. Um... Leonard absolutely needs to come back into this team. I think Leonard needs to come back into this team. And we need some more fresh energy up, um, and ideas at the top end of the pitch. Because if we don't end up winning um, this game, then I think it could be the beginning of the, of the end for you. But uh, I'm going to stop banging my gums. And I will show you the team that I will go with. Hopefully, touch wood, get that over the line. I will see you there. I will see you there. Be going. Come on, boys. Time to wake up now. <laughs>